What's up, y'all? Happy Vlogtober. I think this is going to be day 14 or 15. I cannot believe we almost halfway through Vlogtober, y'all. Shit, we ain't doing too bad. We did miss one day. Sorry, y'all. Okay, so we're going to try to get the rest of these days done. Right now, we are making a breakfast for breakfast mug mom, you guys. So, I wanted to do something different because, you know, I just get tired of the same old shit, to be honest. Okay, so what I decided at 4 o'clock this morning, when I woke up and couldn't stop thinking about what I was going to do for a breakfast mug mom, was that I was going to attempt to do croissant French toast, y'all. Hopefully this turns out good. I had never seen it before, but then I looked it up on YouTube after I thought about it, and a lot of people have made it before, okay? So I don't even know which person I'm going to follow. I don't know what I'm going to do. But hopefully this turns out really good. Let me show y'all what else we got going. Asha is making her breakfast potatoes. Looks like she has some bell peppers, onions. I think she got some rosemary in there too, y'all. I don't know. She doing a little different today. Smells delicious, though. Smells really good. She already got a whole entire pack of bacon made. I'm going to be making turkey bacon because I just cannot do no more pork. After we ate that whole rack of ribs, y'all, I can't do no more pork for another couple months, okay? I'm about to start my turkey bacon right now. All right, so got my bacon here. You guys, I love this skillet so much. I'm going to show you it better when I take this bacon out of there, but this shit is bomb. I got it from an Asian market. It was about 40 bucks, which at the time I was like, ah, but this is so well worth it. What I really love about the skillet is like, look at this one. This is heavy as heck. All of our skillets like this size are super heavy, y'all. This is like, look how easy I'm moving this shit around. It's light as heck. The non-stick surface is holding up very well. It also cleans better than any skillet that we have, okay? So, we barely even need a sponge to clean this thing. It is bomb. So, try one of these out. If you see it at the Asian market, the best skillet I've ever had, y'all. Okay, so go, to go on top of my French toast, I have some berries here, and I'll sprinkle some monk fruit on them. I'm hoping they create a little syrup, but they may not, y'all. They may not. Maybe I should have cooked them a little bit. I don't know. Anyway, it's going to be good. If not, it'll just be fresh berries. So I have this one on there. And I'm going to sprinkle the monk fruit, the powdered monk fruit on top of the French toast when it's done. So I'm just going to put these in the refrigerator and let them marinate while I'm cooking everything else. My bacon is just how I like it. So I'm going to take it out now. And put it right on top of Tasha's bacon. See, this is why I use my hands, y'all. I don't have time for these damn utensils. I couldn't even finish taking that out. Okay, so here's the, a better look at the skillet that I was talking about. I'm going to clean it out. It barely takes any cleaning. It don't even have nothing on here. <laughs> Too clean, really. I mean, everything comes off onto your food like you should. But look at that. Pretty much clean as fuck. So, I'm still gonna wash it because I wanna. I don't want any bacon flavor on my French toast. But I really don't need to. So, who lives in the family where they have to cook multiple meals for people because everybody is so picky and nobody ever wants the same food, y'all? This is my first relationship where the person wants to eat different things that I want to eat, and then we have a son who's also very picky. So sometimes we will sit here and make three whole different meals. Okay, which is straight up bullshit in my eyes. I'm from a family where the mama cooks whatever she cooked. If you ass and want it, you can figure out some other shit on your own. Today is no different, okay? So I'm doing the French toast, but she wanted biscuits, y'all. She wanted biscuits. So I'm going to get her biscuits ready. You guys, I decided I am going to cook these because I do want it a little syrupy. So I'm going to throw that in there. I'm going to try to put the least amount of real sugar that I can to make it syrupy. Let's start with this. Let's start with that. Keep it on low for a little while and see what we get. It's looking really good. <laughs> really good with just that little bit of um, sugar. So I'm good. I think I'm gonna turn it off right there. Perfect. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna start preparing my croissant French toast, you guys. So the first thing you need, of course, is some croissants. Then I saw people using milk eggs and sugar y'all so instead of milk i'm going to use some sweet cream creamer tasha just bought this today i tasted it i feel like this would be a great addition so i'm not going to add any extra sugar just going to use this Whew, i feel like this is going to give it a nice little ice creamy flavor also going to need some cinnamon 
I'm using two eggs. And then I also saw people putting citrus in you guys. So that was interesting. One person I saw putting orange juice in it. And then another person did lemon zest. So I ain't got my orange juice. So I'm going to put a little bit of lemon zest in mine. Hopefully this is good. If not, I'm mad. I did also see some people using flour and baking soda. I'm not going to do that. Because I feel like it's not necessary. But hopefully it really ain't. I don't need no extra flour on bread. Okay. Alright, so let's get started. So... I did see some people using the whole croissant. That that was how I was planning on doing it. But then I saw people slicing it. And I like that better. Because I'm going to feel like I'm eating two pieces. Um, with just actually eating one whole croissant. Somebody said to try to use the hardest ones. Because it's going to be soaking up. I'm talking to the OG fan babe. Because oh. <laughs> it's going to be soaking up all that um, egg and stuff. So. So cut these in half or leave them whole if you want to do, if you want to fry up the whole ones. Put those to the side while you make the batter. It's going to be two eggs. I'm kind of making up my own measurements, y'all, because everybody else is doing large quantities. So I need to figure out what I need to do for just two pieces. I'm going to add in. That's probably good enough. And then they said whip this for about three minutes until it's nice and bubbly so that it will get a, give it a more fluffy coating. Look at this, you guys. Um, yes. Oh my God. That's gonna be so good. Okay, so I've been whipping this for three minutes. I'm gonna add some of my lemon zest. I'm a little scared y'all with this, even though I have had lemon zest in desserts before and it's really good. So I'm thinking that's gonna be good. I'm gonna put a little bit of Vanilla, if anything comes out, okay. Maybe a teaspoon of cinnamon. Mix that up. And we got our batter. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. Just a little to help the butter not burn. Butter. Have this on about medium heat. I guess I'll cook two pieces at a time. I'm gonna dip it in here first. And fry them up. Go immediate from the batter so it doesn't get too soggy. Look at this, you guys. This is turning out even better than I expected. Ooh, whoa. I don't think I needed the flour because it's not flat. It's looking good, y'all. In this skillet, I'm gonna start making my fried eggs. I'm just going to put pepper and pink salt on my eggs. Nothing spectacular. Oh my God, y'all. I just tasted a little piece of the uh, croissant. It is so good. So good. Make sure y'all try that creamer. That creamer is perfect. It's not too sweet. If you like stuff real, real sweet, you might not like it. I'm going to turn my eggs down really low because Tasha is still handling business. So we probably not going to eat soon. All right, y'all making my last batch of the French toast. My eggs are ready. Tasha's about to make her eggs. And then we're going to start the mukbang. So if y'all want to see us eating this, go to the mukbang channel. Because we're about to smash, baby. Here they are. Oh, shit. Here it is. That looks great. Welcome to the vlog, babe. Oh, At the what's end. up, y'all? <laughs> Ooh. Baby, can you give me some ketchup and some hot sauce, please? Mm-hmm. Remember yesterday she said I don't do shit? I don't do nothing, y'all. Yeah.